Hi, my name is Megan Ryan and I'm the Associate Professor in Pasture Science here at UWA. I am one of the many people you will meet if you enrol in a major in Agricultural Science. Agricultural Science is an exciting and important discipline. Adequately feeding a growing world population is a challenging goal over the coming decades as we face climate change and also limitations to the availability of land, fresh water, fossil fuels and phosphorus fertiliser. Agriculture must also meet the desires of today's society for positive environmental outcomes and ethical treatment of animals. UWA has a strong commitment to addressing these issues through agricultural teaching and research. Australia, and in particular Western Australia, play an important role in the global food supply system. By studying for a major in agricultural science at UWA, you will develop an understanding of the complex factors that shape agricultural systems by studying a range of disciplines, including agronomy, soil science, plant soil interactions, livestock, genetics, grain marketing, and agricultural economics. Throughout the major, a strong scientific framework will give you the skills to apply the knowledge we provide to understand the global challenges I mentioned above and to work out innovative solutions. You do not need to come from a farm to do well in an agricultural science major. Many of our students come from Perth or other urban areas, but they have in common a strong interest in agriculture. You will have opportunities to visit commercial farms during the major for instance, through two weekend field trips to the wheat belt, for which you may be charged a small fee. You will also have opportunities to interact with farmers and staff from other organisations, such as the Department of Agriculture and CSIRO. There are two options when you choose to enrol in a major in agricultural science. First, you can enrol in the agricultural science in a degree specific major, such as the Bachelor of Science or the Bachelor of Philosophy Honours. Or second, you can choose to enrol in it as a second major in the Bachelors of Arts, Commerce, Design, Sciences or Philosophy Honours. This second option provides you with a wonderful opportunity to explore areas of interest to you. Agricultural Science is a very good fit with a number of other majors and there are a few that we particularly recommend. First, Genetics. This is relevant if you have a strong interest in crop or animal breeding. Another good fit is botany or zoology if you're particularly interested in plants or animals. Natural resource management or environmental science may be relevant if your area of interest is in land management. Geography or human geography may be a good choice if you are interest in, interested in development of rural communities. Finally, a commerce major such as economics, accounting or management may also be a very good fit if you're interested in rural finance or agricultural consulting. Graduates from UWA have a very high rate of employment after they finish their degree and find jobs in a large range of areas. These include rural consultancy, farm management, agriculture research and jobs with international agencies such as the UN Food and Agriculture Organisation. Many graduates also find jobs in a range of areas in the state and federal public service. Let's talk about the units you will study as part of a major in agricultural science. At level one, you will study two units, course of concepts in biology and plant and animal biology. Here is assistant professor Nikki Mitchell to tell you more about these two units. Hi, my name is Nikki Mitchell and I'm the coordinator of first year biology at UWA. I organise our two first year units and present some of the lectures. Core Concepts in Biology is the first semester unit. In this unit, concepts such as biodiversity and evolution, biological structure, and the central role of DNA as genetic material will be introduced, while at the same time focusing on some hot topics in contemporary biology. The themes of this unit could include understanding how species are responding to climate change, examining how plants develop resistance to herbicides, and marvelling at the methods used by males to secure paternity. You also work in a group to write a short scientific article that could be published online. Plant and Animal Biology is the second semester unit. In this unit, you will learn about the diversity of life with a focus on plants, animals and fungi. You will learn how species interact with each other and their environment, 
how plants and animals function and exploit a wide range of environmental conditions, including the ocean. You will develop an understanding of how plants, animals and microorganisms assimilate energy and respond to environmental stress. We examine life history strategies and adaptations to specialised environments. We also emphasise the need to understand the processes that can lead to the decline of species in biological communities, a discipline known as conservation biology. And we draw examples from the remarkable biodiversity of Western Australia that has evolved in isolation on a very ancient continent. There are also two complementary units at Level 1, Science, Society and Communication and Science, Society and Data Analysis. These units give you an introduction to current topics in the natural agricultural sciences, as well as generic communication and data analysis skills. At level two, you will do two core units, animal structure and function, and geomorphology and soils. In animal structure and function, you will learn all about the diversity of animals and how they function. You will also learn basic handling techniques for animals in the laboratory. In geomorphology and soils, you will study earth surface processes and learn how landscapes and soils are formed and how biogeochemical cycles function. You will gain an understanding of how soil and landscape properties affect potential uses of the land, such as agricultural uses. There are also two complementary units at level two, principles of inheritance and plant physiology, plants in action. In principles of inheritance, you will dip into the field of molecular genetics. You will learn about DNA and the inheritance of traits. This is essential information if you are interested in the breeding and selection of crops or livestock. In Plants in Action, you learn about plant physiology through examples from wild and agricultural systems. The material presented in this unit will be crucial for your understanding of how crop plants grow and how variation in factors such as soil and soil water affect their growth and yield. In your third year, there are four core units. These are clean, green and ethical animal production, soil plant interactions, agricultural economics and marketing, and agricultural systems. These level three units are strongly agriculturally focused and build on the knowledge and skills that you have gained through your units at levels one and two. Clean, green and ethical animal production is based on a new approach to agriculture. This unit addresses the constraints to livestock production systems and the major problems associated with the production of wool, meat and dairy products. You will learn about reducing the use of chemicals and hormones, clean production, reducing negative environmental impact, green production, and optimization of animal welfare, ethical production. Plant-soil interactions addresses how plants gain their nutrients from soil. Biological, physical, and chemical aspects of soil fertility are all addressed. The role of the soil biological community is particularly emphasized. These issues are covered in the context of developing sustainable agricultural systems and restoring disturbed natural ecosystems. Agricultural economics and marketing introduces key agricultural marketing issues and concerns. You will learn the analytical skills needed to evaluate marketing and risk management issues. Topics covered include international trade in major agricultural commodities and the effect of government policies. Agricultural systems is focused on the role of Australian agricultural systems in the global food supply chain. It investigates how our current crop and pasture systems are changing in response to the need for greater environmental performance and greater productivity. Case studies in the unit include conservation and precision agriculture, saltland pastures, perennial pastures and new annual pasture legumes. You'll have the opportunity to integrate all the knowledge from this unit and other units through a project undertaken on a commercial farm. Skills in data analysis and communication are embedded throughout the agricultural science major. These skills are highly valued by employers. Now let's talk a little bit about 
options after you complete your major. Many employers prefer to employ students who have a fourth or even fifth year of study. Once you've completed your three-year degree, there are a number of options for further study in agricultural science. The first option is to enrol in a two-year master's by coursework. This gives you the opportunity to gain more broad knowledge, but also to specialise in areas that may be of particular interest to you, such as soils, agronomy or livestock. Alternatively, you can undertake a fourth year honours year, with the option of then adding a fifth year masters, either by coursework or by research. In both these options, you will have the possibility of undertaking an independent research project. Students often tell me that this project is the highlight of their degree. They enjoy the independence and they enjoy undertaking a project that has practical outcomes for agriculture in Australia. This research project also gives you an opportunity to bring together all the skills and knowledge from the preceding years of your degree and apply them to a practical problem. Many research projects, both from honours and master's students, often get published in scientific journals. The research project also provides an opportunity to interact with people external to UWA, such as people working for CSIRO or the Department of Agriculture. There are a large number of competitive external scholarships available for students considering honours projects in agricultural science. Many of my students have been successful in gaining these scholarships, which provide a living allowance and extra money for the research project. Some students also choose to apply for a PhD after they've finished their fourth year honours project or their fifth year masters by research. UWA has world-class facilities for students undertaking such studies and strong links with researchers from other institutions. Students who complete a PhD may move into teaching or academia or research roles in government institutions or elsewhere. Graduates of all UWA postgraduate programs are highly employable. Thank you for listening to this video today and I hope that I will meet some of you when you enrol in an agricultural science major at UWA.